two, three. I'm Mimi, aka the Piscean Seer, and this is one of your daily collective readings. Okay, like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. Okay, it is loved and greatly appreciated. So thanks. What else? God, Archangels, Ancestors, Ascendant Masters, all beings of light only are welcome into this reading. Please give the Pisces here collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. I'm dropping fire, okay? You're dropping fire right now. <laughs> You're dropping some straight fucking flame you the you a fire flame flame fire flame spitter okay <laughs> um this is funny this card coming out okay because um in my notes um i was just sitting up okay doing a reading for the collective for no reason at all because spirit guided me to do so okay and um so i took notes on it um, but spirit wanted me to do it, you know, when it was time to do it. Cause they give me like readings, you know, ahead of time. Okay. I'm supposed to do them in order in this specific order, the way they give me, they even give me little notes to go back and add to them. So I love that. I think it's cool. Spirit keeps me on my toes. Okay. They <laughs> make sure that I am ready for the next, um, subject. And if they don't give me nothing, they will tell me too. like, you're not going to record today. And I'd be like, all right, <laughs> I'd be like, what are we talking about? <laughs> you know, just waiting. And they'd be like, nothing. We're not talking about shit. <laughs> Um, okay, I don't know why I just thought about the calendar right now, but the calendar um, is a nativity scene, okay? It says, but wait, there's myrrh, okay? Because it's a pun calendar, okay? And it means like, you know, frankincense and myrrh. So um, you could want, you could need to work with myrrh, okay? Maybe get some myrrh essential oils or myrrh incense, I heard. I need to do that too, they said. <laughs> okay, look. Queen Nefertiti with alchemy. And I thought that was funny because, oh, and it's, even more funny because Queen Nefertiti's element is fire. Didn't I just say you dropping that? <laughs> you dropping fire, okay? You dropping fire all over everything that you're doing, okay? You are amazing, okay? Um, also, you could be African or of African descent because this is the African goddess deck. But you are embodying, you know, this goddess god energy right now. And spirit loves that. Like I said, you dropping hot fire, okay? Um, the goddess of alchemy... That is what Queen Nefertiti is. She's the goddess of alchemy, okay? Her name, is, her name means a beauty has come, okay? She's celebrated as a goddess and as her husband's equal, okay? And fearless love came out with Oshun, okay? You could um, work with Oshun or Nefertiti um, or Yasigi. Yep. I only got, I think I only got like three cards from this deck and three cards from that other deck, the Heart of the Divine Messages or something like that. Um, but anyways, it's so you are having this fearless love. Okay, you're about to find this lover. That's why I said you got somebody speechless. Ooh, yes, it's going to come on next. Okay, um, so you got somebody speechless okay they really want you and they're not going to be like the last people okay look you manifested this with the split of the deck okay i'm gonna put that down also i'm gonna put these miracles down because you're about to i'm also gonna put this desire down okay <laughs> damn okay so you're you have manifested like this love you are an alchemist okay like i said you're manifesting physical you're making physical manifestations okay whether you think you are or not there's a need for you to just be grateful for everything you get because everything you get are things that you are manifesting through the spirit right now <clears throat> i say yes to your number and yes to you dating me yes we can be together but you got away from me the first time i said no it's like I never said yes. I said yes, we can be together. Yes, you can stay with me. But when I say no, not tonight, you acting so ungratefully. The first time I said no, it's like I never said yes. 
Okay, so you need to be, you brazenly like walked right away from somebody, okay? You chose your harvest. <laughs> See how she got her harvest? You chose your harvest over somebody. So somebody you met when you was with your crew, okay? You was watching them, they was watching you. You say hello to me, I say hello to you. You ask me where I'm from. I ask you what you do. You somehow intrigue me. I thought you were so cool somewhere between hi and goodbye. I felt so comfortable. I felt like we could talk all night, so I gave my number to you. But that didn't turn out right, okay? Whoever you met on that type of shit, that did not turn out right. Or that could be um, the type of vibe you're about to have when you meet this person that you already manifested. Okay, it could be like in a party setting. He could be with his crew. You could be with your crew or she could be with her crew. You could be with your crew, you know, and um, but you two are meant to shine together. Okay, um, it says. Yasigi is next, okay? The element water. Her, so Yasigi's element is water, okay? So you and this person are about to be like um, fire and water, you know? Uh, like you guys might seem like you are opposite in a lot of ways, but you guys are going to be similar in a lot of ways, you know? And it's because you guys are like a puzzle, you know? You guys fit together perfectly, okay? Um... It says goddess of living out loud, okay? And so this person's going to love every what everything about you, okay? Cuz you surrendered, okay? And you have forgiven you. You have found soul forgiveness, okay? You've forgiven yourself and anyone who's ever hurt you, okay? You was at my house. I was sitting on the couch. You was really bugging, so I told you to get out. I may have been misjudging you had a lot of nerve you too damn old to be so immature i hope you learn you said i moved too slow i showed you to the door said don't call no more said it's cool if you can't wait for me i'm glad you let me know because you showed me your true face baby so you have um awakened your sacred lust okay and you was leaving alone all the fuck boys and all the fuck girls okay you don't have no time for none of that shit. It says for the doggone people, Yasigi. Okay, so for the doggone people of Mali, okay, Yasigi was the first Yasin Yasini, I wanna say. The Yas the Yasinese. I think that's how you say it. The Yasinis are women empowered to participate in mass dances, okay? <laughs> okay, so um, you have participated in all the mass dances that you are going to participate in, okay? The way you express yourself won't make everyone happy. That's okay. You're not meant to, okay? You are meant to live out loud. Why do you, why <laughs> you see you come out right on time? Uh, you're meant to live out loud. You are not meant to dim your life for any one you're meant to walk in your cosmic power look it it's two people you and your divine counterpart are meant to walk in your cosmic power okay um let's see what else it says i am free to express myself fully okay so that's what spirit's wanting you to do they're wanting you to fully express yourself express your light let that shit out okay don't let nobody hold you back or dim your light um they're gonna send you whatever helpful people that you need okay to maintain this abundance both of you guys but right now you're collecting information okay you're just waiting for them okay maybe there's something you need to comp compromise on with spirit ask your angels about whatever it is that you need to do okay because there's something they need you to do but you and your divine counterpart are of a divine lineage okay you have gotten through your grief and so have they okay and that's why you guys are going to come together really soon uh oh <laughs> gonna make your body scream out yeah oh again or some shit it says messages from the heart of the divine okay so reflections of the wise um, you are wise beyond measure, okay? You are encoded with lifetimes of sacred wisdom teachings and ancient mysteries, okay? Look at surrender with uh, is set, okay? You are um, of Egyptian descent for sure. Hold up. Let me get, let me look up the number 44. <laughs> yes. Hi. You might like uh, Busta Rhymes or Janet Jackson or both of them. 
So according to the Bible, the angelic number 44 is a sign that you should have confidence in your own judgment and skills. Okay. So when this person comes around, have confidence in the way that you're feeling about them. Okay. It's okay. Um, you guys have an etheric cord that has stretched over lifetimes. Okay. So you're going to know them when you see them. It says all the guidance you need is already within you. Ignore the opinions of others when making important decisions. They're distracting you from your own wisdom. Okay. So anybody that is not your divine counterpart is really di um, distracting you from your own wisdom. Like you're, you think that these people are like, um, they're, oh, it says your own wisdom and truth. Cause I turned the, the notebook over. They're distracting you from your own wisdom and truth. Okay. It is your intuition that you need to listen to your opinion opinion is the only opinion you need to get right now on the things that you're doing like I tried that I tried that when I was doing this you know oh should I do this should I do that what do you think do you think it was this this was better that was better but like bitches ain't even watching the video so how can they even have an opinion on <laughs> how I'm doing it you know what I'm saying I had to stop asking people for their opinion and just do it the way spirit's telling me to do it okay watch my own shit give my own self notes and and perfect my own shit and then maybe that's what you're on okay um seasons okay so in all of these upcoming seasons, well, something's really special about this Christmas season, okay? I don't know about you, but it's feeling real magical for me already, okay? Um, it says, you, the answers you seek are never outside of you, okay? The answers that you seek are never outside of you, ever. They're always inside of you. You're, and so is all the good juju, okay? You're filled with good juju right now. So listen to yourself. Listening to yourself will bring you the ultimate joy, okay? Listening to other people will just lead to rage, okay? They, nobody is, who these people, they're not living in their truth the way that you are. They don't even understand you, okay? They don't even, they can't, they don't even obtain the wisdom that they need to um, guide you in any way, okay? They are, they betrayal, betrayal. They are betrayal, okay? <laughs> They are shame, okay? Shame. <laughs> what was that? On, on, um, on, um, fuck, on, uh, oh my gosh, it's my shit too. Oh, with the dragons on oh, HBO. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, you probably like that show. What is that show? Game of Thrones. That's the name of the show. Funny, huh? This is a game. <laughs> this is a Game of Thrones because these bitches are trying to steal your shit, okay? Look, these people. They don't possess all of this is fire. This layout, just looking at it, it looks amazing. Okay. With, with the alchemy at the top is standing up. Okay. And then you just got all of this bomb ass. Like this is like every good card in the deck. Okay. But just avoid being resistant. Okay. Like, like they said, make sure that you're surrendering. Okay. That you're going with the flow that you're doing what spirit wants you to do. You might have a necklace. You might have a four, four, four necklace. Or a 222 two, two necklace? Yeah, it says 222. Two, two. Um, you might be seeing um, the angel number 101 everywhere right now. It says, um, trust the guidance that comes when you need it, okay? And um, I wrote a message, a channel message that says you're being taught to trust your intuition, okay? You're being taught to trust your intuition to lead you to abundance. That's what you're being taught to trust your intuition on, that it's going to lead you to the abundance that you deserve, okay? Um, it says you already know what you need to do, okay? So, um, and it says reconsider. Stop trying to reconsider the choice that you've already made with your intuition, trust your intuition to guide you the right way. Okay. If you keep second guessing your, when you second guessing yourself, you know, you kind of talk yourself into making the other decision, you know, it's like decisions are a burden to you kind of, but you don't need, you don't need that. Okay. It's not a burden. Okay. You're going to get recognized for whatever it is that your intuition is leading you to just keep on going, baby. And then um, the next card is multidimensional you, okay? You cannot place a person into one archetype or expression of being, okay? You are multidimensional and you're ready to let all, every, dim, well, not every dimension, but uh, most of the dimensions within you shine, you know, because some things are sacred to you, okay? But you're, um, you're, you don't fit into a box, okay? You don't, you don't, it says labels and structures limit Limit, desacralize, and diminish the beauty and bounty of all life, which is infinite and limitless in potential. Okay? Okay. 
So it says you're multidimensional in nature. You cannot fit in. You cannot fit in the box that the world has tried to place you in. Okay, it's unlikely you're going to fit into any box that any bitch tries to put you in because you are multidimensional. You don't fit into no box. What? Huh? You're going to tear that box up. <laughs> Limitless, nonlinear, ever changing and completely one of a kind. OK, you are a helpful person and you're completely one of a kind. Your kindness and your amazingness is unique to you. OK, and that's why God is bringing you these big, happy changes, because you deserve them. Um, it says <coughs> they jump in. Huh? <laughs> it says change and evolution is your sacred path. OK. So um, all of these changes and constant evolutions that you go through, they're all a part of your sacred path. And also, look, here's this romance showing itself. OK, this romance is also a part of your sacred path. Whoever you're meant to be with, you guys are going to do amazing things in, in God. OK, it says reinvent yourself every day if it feels freeing to do so. So do whatever you want to do. If you want to reinvent yourself, if you want to dress up like a motherfucking princess today and then dress up like a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, a frog tomorrow. That's your business. Um, in the near future, allow yourself to abandon the old and pioneer into something new again and again, okay? So in the near future, you need to come to grips with that. Like, hey, I can make myself anything I, I wish to look. I can name myself. Name yourself anything you want to name yourself because you have the power to do so, okay? That's from, uh, what is it? Uh, Space Cowboys or some shit like that? Damn. Now I got to find out. I don't know why Spirit's so obsessed with me knowing everything. Maybe you need to watch these um, shows that I'm bringing up. But it really should be at the beginning. Because I believe that was how I started this notebook was uh, Lovecraft Country. That's what it's called. It's called Lovecraft Country. You need to watch Lovecraft Country, okay? It's very, very, very good. Um, I'm looking up frog symbolism because I said you can dress up like a frog. <laughs> Okay. So frogs also represent wealth, abundance, ancient wisdom, rebirth, and good luck. Okay. Okay. Um, outgrow old ways of being and release the pressure to conform. Okay. Look, let go came out. <laughs> let go of um, this pressure that you've been, you know, like put under your whole life you know it already made you a diamond okay now re thank that shit and release it okay because you don't want to um like get stuck in this cycle of of you know re-bringing up the past like if if it's really something that you have dealt with and you've healed with then you should be able to release it okay um it says allow your no it says become freer and freer as you expand into all dimensions of your soul's experience in this life okay um so you know choose whichever direction that you want it says to choose a new direction but i don't feel like you need to like deter from what you're doing you're doing the right thing but you um you need to ask for help for uh, from others if you need it. Okay, don't be afraid. But um, I really I heard divine counterpart. Whoever this person is that's coming in, they're coming in to help you. They're gonna help you. They're gonna provide you know something that you're missing in your thing. <laughs> you know they're gonna provide I don't know like ideas. Um, they're gonna set powerful intentions and manifest things into your life for you. Okay, they're gonna help you to spiritually grow in some type of way. Um, it says allow yourself. To be you free in your wild, ever changing expression of being. OK, but make sure that you do that with compassion, with the utmost compassion and love and care for others the way that God would. OK, because you are you're you are a reflection. OK, you're a reflection of the love of the universe. You should be showing that. It says you are a cosmic star being not bound by the human suit that you wear. OK, you are an amazing <laughs> freaking person okay because you have done the work you've done the work that you needed to do you know and don't think that the work stops okay spirit saying there's always a little bit of work that needs to be done there's always a lesson to be learned you know um and there's are there is a such thing as happy lessons okay there's a such thing as happy lessons there's a such thing as happy things happening to you so you can feel the 
you know, more gratitude, more appreciation for God. God will definitely show and prove if he won't do nothing else. It says beyond your material identity, you are a whole universe of magic. OK, <laughs> you are an amazing, magical being because of the holy love that is within you. OK, that's the only thing that makes you magical is that magical, holy love that God dropped into you. OK. Um, it says your soul is so expansive, so ancient, so filled with wisdom and power that it cannot be understood with the mind. OK, so, you know, you, you're only ever going to get a quarter of the understanding of yourself that you should have. You know, it's crazy. Um, it says it can only be felt deep within the waters of your ocean heart. OK, so your heart chakra could be opening. OK, it could be expanding right now. Um, witness yourself beyond your material identity or role. Okay. You have to, um, see yourself outside of, you know, this view that everyone else has for you. Maybe there's a need for you to cut some cords. Okay. To clear, cancel and release the opinions of others because fuck them. They don't know what they don't, they, they do not know about you and spirit and what y'all got going on. Don't listen to what people say. It says, get out of your head and start experiencing the beauty and magic of your soul. Let your soul be, let your soul be your guiding light, okay? Let your soul, your guiding light within you be the thing that helps you to maintain your composure in all situations, okay? Because it's all a learning experience, point blank period. This whole thing, this whole reality is like a video game for our souls. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy, but that's really what the facts, okay? This reality is like a video game for our souls. We come here to learn lessons, you know, and a lot of us get stuck in a cycle of learning. That's why our, we had to break the ancestral cur curses and cycles, right? Because our ancestors came here to learn these lessons and they kept getting trapped in them, trapped in them, trapped in them. And then they didn't pass down what they learned, you know, what they learned because they really did, weren't paying attention to the fact that they were going through lessons. You know, people are really con convinced that they're having some sort of shitty life but really life is for you okay it's a gift it says you came here to create a pathway for healing for all those who came before and will come after you come on now okay did you hear what i said if i said you came here to create a pathway um, for healing all those who came before you and will come after you look to the stars accept keys and codes of stellar wisdom I love when they be talking to y'all right, okay? <laughs> Wait, it says, when you speak your truth and embody your authentic passion with an open heart, you heal, okay? Lady Gaia, you heal the earth. <laughs> Did I say we all actively affect the vibration of the earth, okay, of the world, of everything that's going on around us. We just don't realize. We don't realize it because we are trained and programmed to think that we don't have that kind of power, okay? And you do. You're a very powerful being. And you got your wings, too, because um, her wings are really um, getting my attention. You might like to wear flower crowns a lot. There's a lot of flowers on heads, but also your crown chakra is like freaking bomb okay it's open and it's working okay so follow your guidance that you're getting it says your challenges are lessons you are loved and welcomed on earth okay um it says your ancestors and the world around you what did i write oh, oh 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 okay this was a part of that one embody your authentic passions with an open heart you heal your ancestors and the world around you okay but and and <laughs> that's funny because i said you heal and then i said lady gaia <laughs> okay so choosing the path for healing allows any ancestors who are unwell to be healed and creates more freedom and potential for your path your ancestors said thank you Thank you. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you. They're really on you. Okay. Archangel Bakfi. It's time to fly. Listen to your intuition. Okay. So your ancestors are saying we got your back. Your archangels. We got your back. The earth got your back. The cherubim above the angels got your back. Okay. You are here to have the utmost faith in God and to enjoy life. People think that it's supposed to be sad and, you know, sucky, but it's really not. You're really, God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be, you know, safe and comfortable and in love and rich, okay? Um, not just spiritually, but physically rich. 
Okay, Archangel Christine, accept the Christ light and act with wisdom and loving compassion. Okay, and it's all comes from ex accepting that light of Christ. You, you got to do that first. You know, you know how they be like, have you accepted the Lord Christ as your no? Have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? That's what they ask you at church when you, when you when you they want you to come up and get saved. Okay, you already came up and got saved, boo. <laughs> Archangel Raziel, seek and you will find, okay? You seeked God and you found him, boo. <laughs> Congratulations, okay? It's lovely over here with him, okay? Ancestors, endless helping hands at your back cheering you on. Didn't I say they're like, thank you. You're doing such a good job. We love you, okay? <laughs> your ancestors are cheering you on. It says, Archangel Amethyst, purify your life with love and prepare for something better, okay? There's something better coming to you, like, really fast. It's coming in quick, okay? Because you've been being the descendant that your ancestor would be proud of, okay? It says, be the descendants your ancestors will be proud of and honor them as you do it, okay? You've been honoring your ancestors, and they, in return, are freeing up things in your path and sending blessings your way, okay? So make sure that you keep on showing them gratitude. I burn runes for my ancestors every single day i've been doing that for three months going on four now okay connect with unicorns and receive the white ascension flame okay so you are ascending but also maybe you look for uh, for a white flame meditation i don't know maybe maybe it doesn't exist maybe i need to make one <laughs> okay it says maybe you make meditations okay maybe you need to meditate about making a white flame me ascension meditation video or something like that okay that will be very spirit said that would be beneficial and lucrative for you okay notice ancestral family patterns that are ready to be healed and let go of it says be fair in all situations and resolve your conflicts okay they are on right now <laughs> so make sure that you are being fair and when you're looking over the old things okay and um that you're just finding the balance in those things that's like really shadow work is really it not only helps you but it really helps your ancestors okay it breaks cycles you're facing things that your ancestors weren't quite strong enough to face okay um they chose you because they knew you could do it okay um, it says Seraphim Serafina, be an ambassador of earth and build your bridge to source. Okay. Um, nothing's more important than your Aka Atakarana bridge. Make sure that you're working on building your Atakarana bridge. Okay. By meditating and by constantly communicating with spirit. Okay. It makes your bridge to the divine stronger and makes them louder. Okay. It makes your intuition louder, makes it stronger. Okay. And, um, that's very important. It says release any old ways of being that are too limiting for your potential of love. Oh, okay. This is um, Archangel Dorenka with the bats, okay? It says, um, hone your psychic abilities and see through illusions. So you're really seeing through these illusions right now, okay? And that's what they're saying, that be it's because we're enhancing your, excuse me, your alchemist power, gratitude for that confirmation spirit. We're enhancing, ooh, that was more confirmation. <laughs> we're enhancing your alchemist powers and your um psychic abilities okay they're going up all right um it says make sure that you be conscious and cooperate with others for the highest good okay you know if an opportunity comes along and it's really helpful and spirit approves of that you know you pray on it make sure you pray on everything pray about every decision that you're going to make make sure that you're asking god for guidance and looking for the signs after you do so okay um, see with enlightened eyes and be open to the abundance they're about to send you. Okay. Tune into the divine will and open to higher illumination. Make sure that you're honoring animals. Okay. Let's, um, not, you could be someone who, um, is like an animal activist. Okay. You might, um, go out and rescue animals or something like that. This is a cougar though. You could be a cougar. <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a cougar right here in this picture. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's up. Um, you might have a car that's that got candy paint with the windows all black. You might like creme brulee, creme brulee a lot. Okay. Spirit likes the way you're looking at money like it ain't a thing. Okay, because it's not. It's not nothing but energy. Okay. 
Um, it says courage meanings, I mean, courage. So you're very courageous. Okay. Um, it says cougar meanings and symbolism include protection, agility, adaptability, um, secrecy, beauty, and wealth. Okay. There's some secrecy surrounding your wealth, but we're, we're, we're not going to get into that. Okay. Enter higher planetary service and be a blazing light and open your heart to give and receive love. Okay. Your essence is love. Okay. And you're protected by Archangel Michael, everything that you do. Okay. Stand in your power and make sure that you're always constantly being true to yourself. Okay. There is nothing like being true to yourself. Like it's fabulous. Hey, Oh, Watch me going out of the way when I should have went home. Only time of the day I get to spend on my own. I'm about to get another deck, but I needed to write that down. And pick you up on the way. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I could still get you wet and I could still make you laugh. Okay, so your divine counterpart that I was talking about earlier, it could be someone that you've been with before, okay? You guys had a separate, you guys separated, okay? which gave me like twin flame, you know, twin flame energy because everybody's divine counterpart is not their twin flame, okay? You have multiple, <laughs> multiple soulmates, but um, your twin flame, there's only one of them, okay? Sometimes our twin flames get together and, you know, act right. And sometimes our twin flames are, are evil twin flames. And, you know, they're just here to wake us up and teach us a lesson. That was the, the first um, view of twin flames that I got that you come into contact with your twin flame right then you guys have this this moment of separation where you guys you guys had this toxic relationship okay you wake each other up the song said last night i brought doa to the studio you might have went to the to the studio last night okay or you might uh went somewhere with a stage in a booty pole <laughs> um anyways <laughs> i had to get that confirmation in there so um shit i forgot what i was saying <laughs> but you know, usually, okay, you just need to trust that all will be well, okay? Don't obsess over the details, okay? Just shine. Just shine unapologetically and effortlessly. And that's how you win, by just shining, period. Just doing whatever makes you happy, okay? And having trust in the universe, trust in God, trust in your angels. And most importantly, more importantly than anything, you need to have trust in yourself. Let your fears dissolve and realize that whatever they're talking about, that you need to release this fear to accept, that is it. That is the thing you've been waiting for, okay? Girl, you know we got things to do, so get your ass in the car and come through. Okay, look, go for it. <laughs> That's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for you. No, you got that thing that I like, or you know you got that access the uh, access access the situation. But I'm supposed to be saying assess the situation. Okay, assess the situation so that you can gain access to the situation they're trying to introduce you to. Okay. I heard that. Look, go deeper. There's something deep within that you need to deal with. Okay, a little shadow work that you need to do. Um, also, there's a need for you to reflect on your priorities. Like, what are your goals? Where are you going? I made I made a goal list the other day. I made like you know a one to three year goal list goal list, and then I made like more like a like a three to five year goal list. Okay, where do I want to be doing? What do I want to be doing? What am I attracting from spirit? Okay, just because it doesn't it not only helps you and gives you a clear place of where you're going, but it gives spirit more of a clear place of where you're going and what you want so that they can move things around in the spirit to make your manifestations happen okay um but just make sure that you're keeping your heart open for this this ex that you're okay <laughs> for this ex that you're attracting okay you need to push through any insecurities that you may have with this person okay because this person is for you okay see the bigger picture don't look at this person for the things that they've done in the past only okay this person could be a sagittarius a cancer um an aquarius a libra a scorpio we got a virgo a aries <laughs> so um this could be them or you um any of these signs okay gratitude spirit um but most of all baby relax okay relax take this time to relax and work through your feelings and to leave the past behind okay and start realizing that you are loved okay be a hundred percent honest and real with yourself and in god okay and then just believe in your good luck and expect the miracles that are coming to you damn it skipped out on me i hate when it does that <laughs> okay what was i saying um I'll, i said a lot of stuff okay unleash your kindness self okay
That's what you need to be. Be your best self. Be your best, kindest, nicest, most compassionate, love-giving self, okay? And you will attract those same types of energies right back to you, love. Anything else, spirit? Okay. Fucky dorky. You my type. You a bright light. Like a moth, this is not a game. But before we start, what's your name, girlfriend? What's your name? <laughs> what's your name, girlfriend? What's your name? Tell me what's your name, girlfriend? What's your name? Check it out. What's your name, girlfriend? What's your name? Okay, get rid of um, any superstitions you may have around love. You know, like, oh, you don't go back and whoop whoopie wop Like, that shit is bullshit. If you're supposed to go back, spirit gonna bring that shit back. Bring that funky track back, okay? <laughs> Look, your angels, your angels are doing this, okay? So make sure that you're being fluid, okay? That you're going with the flow of whatever it is they are bringing into you. Because whatever they bring into you is for a reason. It's a blessing, okay? Follow your instincts and try not to be um, so defensive when this person comes around. Whether you're a guy or a chick, you know, try not to be defensive. Like the things that that person did back in the day, that, that wasn't them. Because they're not them no more. They're not the person that did that anymore. Now they are grown in God, okay? Oh, snap. Whew. Yes, don't let your pride get in the way when this person comes around, okay? It's like this person could have cheated on you or whatever. Whatever they were doing, they didn't love themselves, okay? They were young, and you guys had to go through these learning experiences together, okay? So trust your intuition and downloads that are telling you to trust them. And more, most importantly, have trust in the universe, look, and in God. <laughs> Goodness, I love the way they do it, okay? Look, make sure that you use your voice, okay? Communicate what you want. Communicate what you will not accept this time around. Make sure that you guys have a deep talk and it's a deep understanding that, hey, this is where I'm going, you know? Where are you going? Are we gonna be in the same neighborhood? Are we headed toward the same type of things, you know? Are, is our mood, does our mood match? Is our vibe matching? It's gonna match, okay? Make sure that you have confidence in this situation because this person came back because they want to, okay? You didn't go find them they came back because they want you and they ready to negotiate and do whatever the fuck you want them to do girl just take me though <laughs> take me for what i am who i was meant to be and if you give a damn take me baby so take them as they are when they come okay don't fight them do not have a fight with them okay you you have built up your self-esteem okay um, let's see. It said, he said, life is so much more than gold. This is jamming by Bob Marley. You might really like Bob Marley, okay? You might have dreads, okay? <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, just look. Now that you have this knowledge of, of, that this person is, is all a part of the vision, okay? Use that same style, you know, and respect that you use to get them in the first place, okay? And just be courageous going into this and make sure that you're following your guidance, okay? Because this love really truly does have a potential to be something that grows you in your spirituality, okay? It's gonna bring great change to your life, okay? This person's gonna bring innovation to your life, okay? And they're gonna amp up your skills that you already have. Okay, let's get some love cards. And then we're going to be up out of here. Up out of my face, boy. So, um, you know which ones is fuck niggas and which. But if you know what I'm talking about, okay, you know who this person is. Like, Spirit's going to always tell you, you know, if, if somebody needs to get up out of your face, they're going to tell you, okay. You might be like, get up out of my face, boy, when they come back. You might think that they are on some, some deception, but that's why there's a need for you to do some forgiving and learning, okay? Because this person is, is the, you guys had a past life relationship, okay? And you guys are about to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Didn't I just tell you? That heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to free you right up. It's going to free you right up because he going to come or she going to come and they going to sound like a grown ass person. OK, they're going to come tell you some shit you never thought would come out of their mouth. But you need to give them a chance to talk to you. It's, I seen keep an open mind. OK, you love yourself first already. Now you guys were just in separation. OK, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Come on with the confirmation, then, spirit. <laughs> but it says, pay attention to the red flags. The sign are the signs are cautioning you. Okay, um, I think that the signs are cautioning you that 
you don't want to get into like this person could have already contacted you okay and this is what they're saying they're saying that we are trying to get you to forgive that person first like that person could be doing like a little you know um teeter-totter type of thing you know look it says i'm waking up i'm waking up i'm waking up i'm waking up okay <laughs> so you could be waking up to this person okay this person does not want no smoke with you okay they want just to love you to bring goodness and happiness to you okay they don't want smoke with you no more. They already went and got, they, they, they know what the smoke with you do, okay? <laughs> they have learned to love themselves and so have you, okay? It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, okay? They love the way you start respecting yourself and doing what the fuck you're supposed to do, all right? <laughs> But just be playful about the situation, you know. Don't make it such a heavy thing, okay? It says to recapture romance, allow the inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So just come in on some lighthearted type of things, you know. Be very open. Be willing to listen. Don't, um, ooh, shit. Don't, <laughs> don't shut them out, okay? That's your husband or your wife. You finna get married. This says wedding. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime, okay? Do you hear me? <laughs> this is the romance of a lifetime. So just make sure that you give it the fair chance that it deserves. Okay. Spirit's not going to send this person around for nothing. He, they sending this person back to heal these family issues. You guys both had to, I mean, you guys are a family. Okay. But separate, you guys have families too. Okay. So you guys had to go separate, f heal your issues in, within yourself and in your family and then come back together. And you guys are going to do a whole nother level of healing to each other. Okay. You're about to set this shit off. I'm excited about it. Okay. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So you have um, done some major forgiving of your parents. Okay. Even if your parents are still you know, up to fuck shit. Maybe you, it was just the tiny little things you needed to forgive your parents for, you know, um, but you've done it. Okay. You've done some major healing and spirits and, and, it, and it caused you to start being able to call in your soulmate. Okay. It says calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay. So you have been manifesting this soulmate, you know, this faceless soulmate. <laughs> Trust me, I can relate. And you're kind of wondering, you know, like, who is it, you know, but now you could be starting to be like, okay, maybe it's him <laughs> or maybe it's her, you know, you're just like waiting. Okay. Spirit's saying whenever they do send this person in, cause I'm getting the feeling it's going to be the last person that you thought of. Okay. It's going to be the last person you thought was going to come in and be your soulmate, but that person really is your soulmate. Okay. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Okay. It's safe for you to love this person when they come in. So, um, just follow your intuition, okay, your downloads. Usually, I don't know about you, but for me, they come two at a time. Spirit always wants me. Spirit's always using people to um, test my intuition, okay? They'll, they'll be like, you know, you have a, you have a, a choice because you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight, okay? <laughs> hey. But it's, it's uh, this is who I smoke. But whoever this is, they walk a thousand miles, okay, just to see you tonight, right now, tonight, they ready. But you're not quite ready, okay, for this new love. But this is new love, okay? This is, um, you may think that some new person has stirred your romantic feelings, but that's one thing I'm getting, okay? Some of you think that you met a new person and this new person is the person that you're supposed to be with, but no, it's going to be someone else, okay? Um, also... When this person comes, like I said already, they are a new person. They are no longer the person you was like, fuck you, get out. I'm done with you, right? They're no longer that person, okay? They are not the person that you kicked out. The best thing you ever did for them was kicked them out of your life, okay? That cling they ass right up, I promise you. And you deserve love, okay? You are lovable. You're totally lovable and they see that shit now. This is not only quite a love. Y'all going to have children. So make sure you stay optimistic about your love life. Um, the chemistry is going to be off the chain. It's a reconciliation. Look, engagement, um, getting to know each other. Okay. There's no more codependency. It's time to flirt with your soulmate. <laughs> So, you know, release the ex, release that ex that you was with. OK, whoever comes around now, they they I'm not going to say whoever comes around now, they knew people because we know it's still old people out here on that same old bullshit. But, you know, 
you're going to be able to tell, okay, spirit doesn't put you in a situation. Spirit will put you in like the perfect situation for you to see the perfect thing. Okay. Spirit talk, will talk to that person to he, to let you hear something that you need to hear. Okay. And not to mention, you know, if they are your person, then they're truly gifted as well. Okay. They have, they share similar gifts with you. They channel like you do. They have a telepathic connection with you. Okay. They could um, be a dreamer. Hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie. <laughs> Last name Wilson. I was wondering if I could take you out, show you a good time, invite you to my house. Here is my number. Girl, you can call me. And don't forget, babe. My name is Charlie. They could be they name could be Charlie. With all of this fortune, what am I doing single? Sometimes I tell myself, man, get out and mingle. You don't have to be alone. You need someone to love. But being famous sometimes, it's hard to find someone to trust. But the hell <laughs> with that this time, I'm going to treat myself. Being in love is good for your health. It's time to share this fortune and fame with someone else. Now that I'm in this club, I might as well. So you might run into an ex at, at a club, okay? But um, you like, no, I'm ready to share all of this wisdom and wealth. Look, finances and career. <laughs> I love them, okay? finances and career you ready to share this wealth with whoever your boo is okay let's get this going let's build this empire you know i'm tired of being alone you know i'm ready to just go treat myself all right you about to get a new coop or they they ain't got nobody to ride around in a new coop with they need you okay look there's no codependency okay look there's nothing but flirting finna go on okay look you romantic feelings romantic feelings are real and worth exploring okay I'm done. Shit. <laughs> Being in love is good for you. All right. I hope you guys have a fabulous, wonderful, and amazing Friday. Okay. Go out, turn up, have fun, dance, shake that ass, shake, shake that ass, shake that ass in the living room if you got to. Okay. And I'll see you later.